Welcome back to another detailing video guys. I'm RJ, this is Brent, and I don't know if you guys recognize this Jeep behind us, but it is back for another, uh, another detail. Um, this was our biggest video ever. It was the dirtiest, hairiest girls Jeep video. Um, and what do you know, it's dirty and hairy again. So, it's so bad again. Yeah, um, so she contacted us needed to get it in before uh, this upcoming weekend. So we cleared the schedule and decided to fit her in so that we could bring an awesome video to you guys and help her out. So, uh, aside from that, you got anything else to say, Brent? Let's oh, get to it. guys, check out Car Supplies Warehouse. It's your one-stop shop for all your detailing needs and you'll also get a $5 credit for your first purchase the first time you make an account and purchase something. So, uh, give them a look. They were the sponsor for our big giveaway. And uh, aside from that, Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so before we get into the detail, if you like content like this, you like seeing disgusting, dirty, nasty cars transformed to look brand new again or as close as possible, make sure you take a second and subscribe to the channel with your notifications on. We post once a week every Friday at 9 a.m. so you don't want to miss out on that. Make sure you're subscribed and also if you could hit the thumbs up button, that'd be awesome. But as you can tell, this Jeep is destroyed again. We've done this Jeep before on the channel. It's so bad. It's covered in mud and we noticed you guys wanted us to do an engine bay detail last time so we decided we're gonna do one this time as well and we're gonna show you exactly how we do it safely as for the inside I'm actually curious how much money's worth of monsters cans are in this Jeep if anyone can figure that out comment the answer below but that aside there's so much dog hair I believe we could have made another dog out of it and if you guys have a dog that sheds a lot that's getting in your car you have to check out the lily brush that we used in this video the link is in the description below I promise you it'll be a lifesaver So guys, the degreaser that we're gonna use today is Meguiar's D108. We ordered this off Car Supplies Warehouse. Seriously a good deal. It's a decent degreaser. And we're going to, let's see, the dilution rate, heavy duty degreasing is four to one. Uh, medium duty is 10 to one. For our, our application today, I think we're gonna go kind of heavy, try and break up that dirt and grime that's on the engine bay, as well as all the dirt and grime that the tires pick up. So, let's go ahead, put our funnel in. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but there are markings that show uh, your dilution ratio, so about 25%. We're just going to eye it up for the sake of the video. Uh, I guess a little extra degreasing power never hurt anybody. <laughs> All right, and fill at our fill station. Ready to go. Since we're going to be taking the seats out of this car anyways, we decided to take the battery out entirely. That way when we do the engine bay detail, it's not going to be there. So none of the electric stuff will be exposed to water and it's just safer. All right guys, so the soap we're using today is not the usual honeydew snow foam from Chemical Guys. That's actually pH balance. It's not going to remove any iron. It has no degreasing properties. It's basically just a, a maintenance cleaning soap. While this Iron X snow foam from CarPro is going to remove iron 
and it has significant degreasing and cleaning properties. Uh, and it's also going to strip whatever wax, although there's not really any on here, it's going to strip whatever protectant that's on the vehicle down to the bare metal. And then we are going to follow up with CarPro HydroLite 2, which is a spray sealant. Uh, it's a silica spray and it's crazy the way it makes the paint feel. The paint literally feels soft and, and smooth and sleek. I've never seen a spray wax do what this spray sealant does, but I guess you guys will just see with your own eyes how it works. It's time for the question of the video, so leave your answers in the comments below. It's a simple one. How are you guys doing? RJ and I really want to create a tight-knit community, a positive community with you guys, and we care about you, so we want everyone to feel welcome and happy here. And honestly, feel free to respond to each other's comments as well. I know we could all use somebody. Personally, guys, I've been dealing with some very bad anxiety lately. That's why you haven't been seeing newer content from us. We're making compilations. I put that on myself. Um, I'm dealing with it. I'm trying my best, but... I just want to be open and I hope you guys feel the same way. You don't have to talk about anything bad. Tell us how you're doing, how your day's been, anything like that. And we hope you enjoy the rest of the video.
we like to take a soft bristle brush from our work stuff brush kit and go to any of the emblems and the gas cap and get anywhere our wash mitts might miss. So you'll notice we're taking off the two roof panels of the Jeep. It lets a lot more light in for us and it also makes getting in and out easier. It's obviously not something you have to do, but I would say it definitely improves the quality of your work. If you're newer to detailing, one tip that I could give you when you go to the interior, the first thing you should do after taking all the garbage and all the items out is to vacuum. I know that seems pretty obvious, but sometimes people don't know what order they should do the steps of a detail in. If you vacuum first, it'll make the job a lot easier, it looks better, and you can always come back at the end of the detail with a second vacuum or a third vacuum to give that final touch. If you didn't already know, this tool right here that we're using is the Lily brush that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. We'll have a link to that plus everything else we're using in this video down in the description below. If you have a dog, I really, really recommend getting one. Sometimes 
So something we've never mentioned about the window reach tool he's using right here, I've actually dislocated one of my shoulders twice. And whenever I have to clean the windshield, it's a lot harder on me. It makes my shoulder hurt after a while. And this tool just is a lifesaver. It's helped me so much. Even if you've never hurt yourself, you should still check it out. That went a lot better than the first time around. Just goes to show that if you bring your vehicle in every, uh, you know, months. six months, four yeah. months, six months, depending on your lifestyle, um, it really does matter and make a difference uh, if you keep up on it. We hope you enjoyed this Jeep video. We haven't made a video like this in a while, so it felt pretty good to do. Uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up for us, subscribe to the channel. Also, all the products that we use today, we got from carsuppliesWarehouse.com. Again. They sponsored our giveaway. They provide us with some high quality products. We pay for them, we don't get them for free, uh, but Jason over there is a good guy. Um, so definitely check out the website. You get five bucks credit on your first purchase. That's credit to your account for your next purchase, um, but check them out and- um, See you guys yeah. next Friday. Yeah. Peace.